What is Damascus steel, and is it stronger than regular steel? Well, um, that depends on what you mean by Damascus steel. Now, I'm no blacksmith, so blacksmith talk, check my work. Modern Damascus steel refers to basically this process of billet welding. You put different forms of steel and alloys together in slices, you melt them, you hammer them together to forge them, you fold them, so on and so forth. And it creates this neat pattern on the finished product. It makes the pattern look a little something like this. And in fact, Damascus comes from a root Arabic word that means water, referring to this pattern. And it is, quote unquote, stronger than normal steel because it is basically a carbonization process. You are making carbonized steel. And carbonized steel is harder and holds a sharper point than normal steel. So you use the two in combination to create a very sharp edge with a more flexible body. The problem is, uh, we don't really know if the technique that we use these days is the actual historical technique for forging Damascus steel. And in fact, Damascus steel has kind of become synonymous with just any steel with a pattern on it, which may or may not be stronger than normal steel. We have old surviving Damascus blades, and we can analyze them at a molecular level. And our techniques just don't quite get there. Right now, it's theorized that the properties of Damascus steel were a product of the materials available at the time. Like, for example, some believe that the ore used in the production of certain Indian and Sri Lankan Damascus swords had specific tungsten and manganese impurities, which helped create the very particular composition of Damascus blades. And when asking whether or not Damascus steel is better than normal steel, for the most part, yes, steel alloys and carbon steel in general is quote-unquote better than just plain old forged steel. But I mean, it's all going to come down to who's forging it and how. The type of steel doesn't make the sword. The swordsmith makes the sword. And later, the sword owner is the one responsible for upkeep. All of that is going to factor way more into a blade's sharpness and durability than just the material it's made out of. Though, of course, certain materials and certain forging styles do help. It's just, you know how we like our stories. We love the idea of finding a mythical sword made out of a mythical material rather than just participating in smart upkeep of the sword you have.